uh, add a little coffee to my coffee, if you know what I mean. Guys, welcome back to another video, okay? Michael Moore's here full time, and we're about to jump right into this. It's going to be super simple. There's not a lot happening before this video. We're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys how I hit bunker shots and the process that I go through when I get into a bunker. I love hitting bunker shots because when you know how to think about it, it simplifies everything. And I'm going to try to I'm going to try to put that process into a video for you guys today. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed. You guys are awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's keep it going, okay? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what kind of coffee you drink, okay? Just as a bonus. So, let's get right into this video. I'll see you guys on the golf course here in just a second. All right guys, so we made it to the course. Okay, I'm feeling fueled. I'm feeling energized and enthusiastic. I don't know if that's a word. But we're here at the practice bunker. We got the practice green here, and that's where we're going to stay today. I know I, I know I've said I like to do these things on the course, but for this one, being kind of like a bunker tutorial, I guess you could say, I'm going to keep it in I'm going to stay at the practice green because there's lots of different things that I want to talk about that are very valuable and I'm going to be hitting lots of different clubs out of this bunker because no for me i don't only hit a 56 degree which is my sand wedge I, that's not the only club i hit out of a bunker okay i hit a lot of clubs sometimes i hit eight iron sometimes i hit nine iron p wedge eight iron whatever it might be and those clubs obviously don't have the bounce that this has but i'm going to talk through some of those scenarios and we're going to jump right into this sorry if the audio is not the greatest but there is a little wind out here but we're going to get into it we're going to start pretty basic i'm going to start with the sand wedge talk about ball position talk about some things like that so let's jump right into it. I hope you guys are, are as excited for this as I am because I love hitting bunker shots. It's literally one of my favorite parts of golf. You don't even have to hit the ball. Okay, so basically what I'm starting with is just a straightforward bunker shot, level lie, flat lie, whatever you want to call it. There's really not much to this. And I see all these different like drills that people do. They put up on the tube or whatever in there. And those things probably work. For some people they probably work. But for me, I don't really think about that. I don't think like that, okay? There's two things that I think about when I set up to a straightforward bunker shot, and they're super simple, okay? That is my center of gravity and my club face, okay? And what I mean by that is when I stand up to just a, tr a regular bunker shot, all I'm thinking about is if it's just a short bunker shot like this, 10, 15, 20 feet, I'm thinking about center of gravity and club face. And how, what I mean by that is when I set up to it, I just want to make sure my center of gravity is just behind the ball, okay? Buttons on my shirt, zipper, whatever it might be make sure that stays one to one and a half inches behind the ball and that's that's the main thing i focus on second i focus on keeping my club face open keep it pointed to the sky keep it pointed straight up the whole time through the whole entire swing okay at the ball after the ball in the follow through whatever it might be and then when you do those two things this will and as long as you accelerate through the ball you're never going to hit a bad bunker shot okay this is what it looks like it this sometimes i draw a little visual if i'm practicing but I put just a little mark, I just put a little mark right behind the ball, okay? And basically I'm visualizing keeping my center of gravity at that the whole entire time. I'm, I'm not trying to move off of that and I'm not trying to move through that, say I would like an iron shot, this is different. So what I'm doing is keeping, keeping my center of gravity here and then I'm keeping my club face open the whole entire time through the whole swing and accelerating through. And as long as that center of gravity does not move closer to the ball, you're never going to hit it thin as long as you're accelerating you're never going to hit it fat okay it's just that simple so you put those things together and it just ends up looking something like this i'm not saying that it's going to happen like that every time but that is literally the most simple way to hit a bunker shot and i'm going to talk about a couple different clubs you can hit um, from different areas this is a pretty standard shot but the main thing that I focus on through every single bunker shot whatever club I'm hitting is if you need to put a visual right there where you're practicing make sure your center of gravity stays just behind the ball and make sure you're keeping your club face open open and accelerating through and you're really never gonna hit a bad bunker shot because you're not actually hitting the ball you're just causing the sand to explode it out now 
one more thing just to kind of put on to that that I focus on most people some people probably wouldn't recommend this but this is just for me personally I focus on keeping my legs and my hips super super steady I don't even I don't focus on opening them or anything on the backswing I focus on keeping them almost as steady as I can and it's just my upper body that's moving back and through so if you watch my lower body it's not gonna move at all one thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is I don't have any education for these videos I don't even have any qualifications that would say that like I'm qualified to teach okay I'm just out here saying what saying what I mean and meaning what I say as far as like the things that I've learned in golf so just keep that in mind and if that scares you you can you know move on to the next instructional video or whatever you want but I switched to a P wedge because this is a very important shot to have when it comes to bunkers for hitting a P wedge I'm hitting a shot that does not have as much spin that is a little bit lower and that rolls releases to the target okay with a sand wedge I'm looking at something that has a little more spin you saw you might have saw those eight roll out five or six feet but I'm talking this is rolling out 20 sometimes even 30 feet if you hit it right and that's a very important shot to have because if you have a long bunker shot all the way across the green 20 30 yards you don't want to be hitting a sand wedge it's gonna be really hard to get it there same principles apply to this club but I'm gonna move my center of gravity a little farther off the ball because I actually want to hit it I want to hit it a little farther back because the farther you hit it back the less spin the closer you hit it the more spin okay it's pretty simple so what that looks like is you, you I'm still sitting in still keeping the lower body nice and planted and I'm just focusing on hitting a little farther behind the ball and it's gonna give it's gonna allow more release and keep in mind I have a pitching wedge right now instead of a 56 degree every bit of 15 to 20 feet these shots don't have to be intimidating when you know how to think about it when you know how to set up to it if you don't know how to hit it then I mean thins and chunks become happen way too often which kind of sucks so what, what I'm trying to do is help you guys prevent that so that one was a pretty good example and just to kind of summarize hitting a shot that has more release on it center of gravity a little bit farther off keeping that lower body super steady and then keeping that club face firm through impact and that way it's not gonna allow that club face to close down and chunk it or whatever it might be and then see so just keeping that sometime I even this is what I do I go back and then keep that club face stay in the same angle through the ball and then it just ends up looking nice now I'm actually gonna hit an 8 iron most people wouldn't hit an 8 iron out of a bunker but I'm gonna show you guys that it's possible and that it's actually really easy I switch to my 8 iron and I'm gonna show you guys a couple different shots that I sometimes hit with an eight iron. It's kind of rare that you get these shots, but like a 20 to 30 to 40 yard bunker shot. I would never try to use a sand wedge or even a 52 degree for that because you're just gonna to have to hit it way too hard to try to get it that far. But if you hit an eight iron, you can be you can ease off it a little bit and get the roll that you need to get it there. So once again, flat lie, same principles apply. You have to make sure and keep your center of gravity behind the ball and accelerating through. As I lower the loft, the club face also does not get opened as much. So once again, I'm putting a little mark there. I'm looking across the green 20 yards and I'm focusing on keeping that club face the same angle. The one thing you got to hear is you, you don't want to think about carrying it there. You got to think about how, how far do I need to hit it so it releases there. And I'm thinking, you know, halfway there and it should release the rest of the way. And you guys didn't see that, but that literally is, that's three feet from the target that I had all the way across the green. And you can see that was not really a, an aggressive swing. It was just knowing exactly how to swing with not hitting a 56 or a 60 degree. Those are not necessary for this shot. I'm going to hit one more with this club just for fun. All right, I'm going to go to that far pin over there. See if we can get this thing kind of decent and close. See how much that rolled out and that is so important to hit but I would say across the board you got to understand that just two two three very simple things apply to hitting good bunker shots center of gravity make sure that's not moving off the ball or towards the ball make sure it's just behind the ball and then keeping that club face open through the through impact and all the way through the finish of your swing and then keeping your lower body really steady I'm gonna talk about a couple more things here before we wrap up this video because I knew it wasn't going to be too long because bunker shots are so simple and I'm hopefully going to make them that simple for you guys. But I'm going to talk about a downhill lie, uphill lie, and a couple other things. Alright, so I have an uphill lie now 
and there's only a couple things that I change when I when I have an uphill lie and that is I simply go with a lower lofted club because the ball comes out at a lot higher trajectory so I, w I don't want that to happen because I can come up way short if I do that so lower loft with an uphill lie and it basically compensates and everything else stays exactly the same so I have a 52 degree here I could probably even hit pitching wedge if I wanted but I'm gonna hit 52 I'm basically doing the same thing feet everything just kind of settling in keeping that lower body nice and still and then keeping that club face open through the target and not letting my center of gravity go toward the ball I'm gonna hit one more here just to, just for fun that was crispy that's like five four or five feet maybe a little bit farther but I hope this makes sense to you guys and I hope it's I hope you can actually take this to the course and apply it and hopefully when you get in a bunker you don't have to be scared of chunking it thin in it or whatever okay because hopefully I've I've laid this out in a pretty simple blueprint and you guys are able to use it very seldom do I ever hit a 60 degree out of the bunker if I'm basically if I'm extremely short-sighted and I have to hit almost a flop shot then I'll hit a 60 degree but I really don't ever do that. There's not much bounce on that club. It takes a lot more precision, but. All right, so last and last but not least here, I'm gonna talk about fairway bunkers. I can't hit this because I'm not, like, I'm not on a range, so I can't actually hit this, but one of the things I see a, a mistakes is a lot of people make in fairway bunkers is they do the same thing that, they, that you would do in a greenside bunker, and that just messes everything up from the very beginning. So basically treat it like a tight lie. When you walk into it, do not settle your feet into the bunker at all. When I walk into a fairway bunker with an eight iron to say for, for instance, I'm like walking up there like tippy toeing. I don't wanna like wallow my feet in any. I don't wanna lower anything, okay? So I'm walking in super, super light and I'm trying not to let my feet get any lower and then I'm simply just hitting a shot from there. So when it comes to fairway bunkers, make sure you're not uh, settling your feet in or anything make sure you're walking in super light and then just treat it like a tight lie Okay, you just got to be confident swing down take a divot everything's the same when it comes to fairway bunkers I could literally just sit here and hit bunker shots all day. I don't know what it is. It makes them so fun, but It's easy and I hope you guys um, Enjoyed this video and I hope that you can take it to the course and apply these to your game and maybe next time you're in a bunker your friends are going to be like you know maybe you're you're uh, prone to not being able to get over, get out of bunkers but next time you're in there your buddies are going to be like i got this hole on lock because you're in the bunker and then you get up there and put it to two feet so hopefully that's what happens i know that i've been in a lot of situations where being in the bunker is actually better than chipping from the, from around the green i would rather be in a, in a green side bunker right now than i would being 10 15 feet off the green chipping regular because i just i feel confident in a bunker so hopefully this raises your confidence level and does the same for you all right guys well that's that's going to be about it for today's video that was uh i knew it was going to be pretty quick there's not much to uh hitting bunker shots it's it's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple i hope that i simplified it enough for you guys um hope you enjoyed this video it was i had a lot of fun making it i love doing these types of videos and you guys seem to like it too so like i said earlier make sure you're letting me know what you want to see make sure you're dropping a comment dropping a like okay helps the algor helps the algor algorithm out and it helps me out and i appreciate all you guys so hope you guys have a great great rest of your day and i'll be seeing you guys real soon